All right, welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. This is going to be part 5, I think. We're already a decent bit into the game, and I'm having so much fun doing this for you guys. So we're going to be starting up the cable car right now. Carlos? I'm sorry about Murphy, but there was nothing you could have done. Yeah, you're right, Jill. I'll operate the cable car. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. Come on, let's go. It's looking good. Mikhail! So the second option there would have been to use the emergency brake, and with that, you would have been stuck on the cable car and started at the front of the clock tower. So we got early powders, which is very good. Early powders is pretty much, as it implies, getting these gunpowders right here a little bit earlier than normally expected. Because of this, we can make more freeze rounds. I'm sorry if you guys like hear the spamming of my keyboard. I hope it's not too annoying. And with this, we're gonna combine these, put them in here, and double C. It was 22 freeze rounds. So we are going to put the custom parts away at the moment, and we are going to throw those away. Um... Anything else I really need? No. Yeah, this game is actually pretty straightforward, to be honest. managed to survive. Maybe we can start helping each other again. Yeah. 
it's been rough. But we can rest now. No. We're the only ones left. There's no rest for the wicked. Here's a gift for you. More freeze rounds, always good to have. One of my favorite songs in the whole entire series right there. So we actually just went to the door that we just came through. Ink ribbons are right there. So inside of here, we're gonna grab ourselves the second part to a key. Or not the second part, but another key to the clock tower. That's not good. That RNG on that part, usually they don't come out, like, while you're watching. Now that roar right there is completely random, and sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, and it will completely, like, destroy. <laughs> well, not destroy, obviously, it was only one second, but it will give you one, minus one second on a speed run. That is, if you were doing the speed run, which you are not. So we're gonna go ahead and use a clock tower key over here. It's gonna drop down the ladder. Alright, so here's another big part of RNG. It's called the music box. For obvious reasons, but we're gonna take the silver gear. Two more gunpowder A's, which are very useful because they are gonna make flame rounds, but you're not using flame rounds, you use them. Four more freeze rounds. So we're gonna want a couple more gunpowders before we start going crazy. And I think what I'm gonna do because this Nemi that we um well spoilers, we find another Nemi fight down here, but I think he drops apart if we do the right um sort of pick an option. So hopefully we can do that. But here for change. So the correct code to this is up, 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 down, up, up, down, up.
<laughs> Bear with me, I'm having trouble figuring out what, how to do this. So that puzzle is a real pain in the ass for speedrunners. If I remember right, we had a four or five change. There's a one, two, three, four, and five change, and we probably got one of the worst ones. So we're gonna make the like sort of master key. If I can get out. So this shotgun is actually really fun to use, and that's why I love it. Depending on what the puzzle is here, we're gonna have a tough time with this one as well. Or at least I'm gonna have a tough time. So, this guy has grenade rounds on him, I believe. Yep. Just standard grenade rounds. We're gonna make those acid rounds later. That is extremely unlucky. So there is a famous line from the boy Wolf DNC, who is a famous Resident Evil 3 speedrunner, or just a Resident Evil speedrunner in general. I don't want to put him into the box of all RA3 runners, but... Okay, so our thing says 7. I don't remember a few of them, so this is going to be kind of tough on me. I guess trial and error. Um, I try and put that one there. And I'm gonna throw this one here. Thank <laughs> you. 
This might be hard to watch, I'm sorry. So, while you're watching me struggle with this, I might as well say a few things. Um, this part right here is a real killer because I think the devs wanted to do seven, I think. Seven different combinations, and they ended up doing like th three or four. it basically is probably one of the biggest points in the game where like if you're playing casually it's like a bro why <laughs> normally if you aren't if you aren't too ultimately familiar with this you will get caught up and mess up a few things, but it's fine. The clock tower is an infamous part of this game. It is one of the things that was left out, sadly, from the remake. And I'm just getting screwed over here. So the remake, I don't know how to feel about it. It wasn't a hor it wasn't horrible whatsoever. It was actually like... A pretty decent game. I don't understand why everyone's hating on it because the like world record times for both are essentially like pretty much the same. And but a lot of people like to shit on the remake because of this not being really a sort of flushed out section. If you look at it the way Bakbasu put it, who is a Resident Evil uh, Twitch streamer and like one of my favorite ones of all time, he said, "Think of this as like the remake and." the remake as the original and we had so much more content here like we have the introduction of random encounters new nemi fights clock tower got flushed out and expanded upon yeah this isn't this isn't going so well um Which, you know, it's, it's whatever, it's not really meant to be like the big old happy-go-lucky part of the game. If this goes wrong, then... Alright. This is going to be a long part, and not for reasons that I want it to be. Feel free to skip ahead if you really... If this is like sort of unbearable, you can always just skip ahead to a part where I'm not doing this. I'd edit it out, but I don't have my editing software anymore. Okay, so it's not that. So, 
For this cycle, we're gonna put the crystal ball in. This one, and then we're gonna mix the obsidian and the amber. Go ahead and throw the amber one in here now. And then we're gonna throw the obsidian. That was not it. So looks like we're gonna be putting the obsidian one in the far left. Alright, time to flip these around, and if this doesn't work, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll piss shit and come at the exact same time. And my YouTube channel isn't monetized, so do I give a fuck for saying that? Absolutely not. Alright, let's. Oh. Alright. That took way longer than it really should have, to be completely honest. But we got it, so. Yippee Kaye, I guess. If you're still watching and you somehow managed to. view me struggling with. I really hope I don't get poison here. So like I was saying about Wolf DNC, he um, has a famous meme there where he got poisoned by those spiders. And he basically just yelled, I got poisoned, and everyone thought it was fucking hilarious. I don't know why. But, I guess people like to watch the downfall of others, I guess. <laughs> this part is so fucking long. We barely did anything. All we did was get through the clock tower. And in a speedrun, that would have taken, like, what? Ten minutes, like, maximum. And we just basically made one part into the, the speed of an actual, like, speedrun. So. With that, we're gonna be... Throwing that in there. Very important part coming up, so I will be muting my mic until that part is over. I 
so what Nemesis just did right there is he infected us with the T virus. Jill! Jill! Hang in there! What have I done? I'm sorry, Jill. Please, wake up! Jill! Jill! October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. So I think we're going to end it off right there. I hope you guys are really enjoying, and this will conclude part 5 of the Resident Evil 3 Let's Play. So, we'll see you all in the next video as we save our progress, and have a good day.